Hello, and thank you for watching another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. And today I want to go over some uh, concepts of protection circuits in amplifiers. Uh, it's that time of year where we are getting extremely hot record breaking temperatures uh, in the uh, states here, and which is leading to a number record breaking number of repairs. And I'll get uh, customers saying, well, the amplifier wasn't hot to the touch when it failed. And today I'm going to go over those key facts when it comes to temperature and amplifier failure. So this is a Zapco four channel amplifier that I just got done repairing. Um, so it's up and running. But as I was going through getting ready to reassemble this, I noticed that the thermal paste, the old original thermal paste, I don't know if I can grab some here, the old original thermal paste is like cement. It's like chalk. I mean, it's, it's hard. And that's a problem. There's only one thing in an amplifier that tells the protection circuit if it's too hot or not. Sorry about the noise in the background. It is quite windy today and the windows are open. Um, there's only one thing and that one thing is uh, directly related to the temperature of the heat sink, not the temperature of the components inside the amplifier, but the temperature of the heat sink. So if you are in a 110 degree day and you're like, oh, I was running this, the run of the system and it failed and I went back and I touched the heat sink and the heat sink was not scorching hot. Um, that is in, within itself a problem because this one single item that determines the temperature of this amplifier is right here. This is a thermistor. Let me see if I can find something to point this out with. This is a thermistor. This thermistor sits directly against the heat sink. So this is always watching the temperature of the aluminum. These are transistors. And I've had you know, some people ask, well, they, they didn't know what transistors are. So I'm going to show you now what a transistor is. It's this black thing that's got three legs on it, in most cases, attached to the board and secured to the heat sink. So these are the transistors. This is the power supply. This is the output section. This is four channels. So you have two transistors per channel. These things uh, dissipate a ton of heat. They have to, that's, that's what they do. When they uh, convert your signal into a sine wave, they just create a ton of heat. Actually, it's just class B, so it's really not a sine wave yet until it passes the inductor. But the concept's still the same. Transistors get hot. They get hot. They, I mean, from anywhere from big ones to little ones they get hot and i don't know if you guys can see right here i've got a pile of transistors these are this is my garbage pile of failed transistors nine times out of ten the thermal paste on those are rock solid you can't have that you cannot transfer that heat to that heat sink fast enough before a transistor fails from thermal so as I always recommend, you'll find it on my website to have maintenance. These are, these really are technically, in my opinion, not maintenance free items. These are not maintenance free consumer electronics. It has a substance in the amplifier that over time degrades. So thermal paste. That's what I've been doing. This is when I decided to start the video is to show you guys the importance of the thermal paste. Without proper transfer of heat, this thermistor will never know what the temperature is in real life, what the temperature of the heat sink is. So I do recommend having amplifiers serviced 
just like a car, just like changing oil in a car. Change your thermal paste in your amplifier. Uh, this thermal paste, um, I can't remember what the, what is this? This is, uh, da, 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 da. so this is uh, 1.25. What is that? Uh, uh, watts per meter Kelvin or some crazy number thing. I sorry, I'm not a scientist. I am. I am. Yeah, I'll leave that for someone else. Um, people are always saying, "Oh, well, you know, find that 12 watt thermal paste." Well, the thing is, is it doesn't matter if you're one watt thermal paste, 12 watt thermal paste. It's gonna degrade, and my recommendations for people that run amps hard especially in the southern states is to have your thermal paste replaced at least once a year because uh, again these things i mean unless you're you know just mildly using the amplifier but my customers 90 percent of them are competition uh, uh users i should say so they run these things in the ground and the problem is is heat uh, most all my repairs that come in are heat related or just shorts, shorted voice coils, uh, shorted speaker terminals. This amplifier, I do believe, failed from a shorted voice coil uh, due to the rectifiers being blown on it, but no output transistors. That's the good thing about this Epco board that I really like is it did not damage the transistors, which is odd. Usually when you have a shorted output, it takes up the transistors. But if it wouldn't have gotten so hot, well, this didn't die from heat. <laughs> um, but this amplifier would have not known at all if this was driven hard and failed from heat because this thermal paste was just rock solid. So that's what I do. I, I replace the thermal paste. I get it everywhere. I replace the thermal paste on every amplifier uh, that I find has been run hard or has gotten hot. Because you need this thermistor here to know what's going on. If you want your amplifier to survive a thermal meltdown, you need that thermistor to, to, to report the temperature correctly to the protection circuit. If the thermal paste between here and the heat sink degrades, it's only going to know what its temperature is. Or maybe some of the heat from the transistors. Are these rectifiers? These might be rectifiers. I don't want to bend them too much because the way they build these, you don't want to uh, you don't want to stress the legs of the transistors. But one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's probably rectifiers there. Yes, they are. Tell me by looking at the traces. Uh, so it'll probably pick up the heat. Rectifiers really don't get hot, but it'll pick up the heat of the power supply transistor. But otherwise, if it degrades against the heat sink itself, it doesn't know the temperature of the heat sink. And guys, we are reaching just crazy temperatures nowadays. And um, I'm here in central Washington where it doesn't get blazing hot, but we have been getting the 95 you know, degree days. I can just imagine what it's like down south in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, uh, I feel sorry for everyone down there that's running amplifiers because I'm going to bet money your amplifier is screaming hot if you're running it. So replace that thermal paste. It just takes a few minutes. You can find this stuff everywhere. Uh, this is ice fusion uh, thermal paste. This is uh, ceramic infused thermal paste. Works great for what I do. It works great for my customers. But again, keeping it replaced is absolutely key. If you guys have any questions about thermal paste, uh, the transfer of heat, uh, thermal conductivity, uh, please feel free to ask questions uh, down below. I try to get to all the comments that, that come in. Um, and you can't quite see it, but you even have items that are, are beyond thermal paste. You have your thermal pads, gap pad, you have all sorts of interfaces. So keeping the interface fresh between the transistor, the heat generating item, and the aluminum heat sink will help maintain the lifespan of your amplifier. Because again, thermal failures 
probably rank number two, one or two in uh, amplifier failures and repairs besides shorts or over voltage. So I do thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this content. I try to release content as much as possible. Uh, it's extremely busy this time of year with 100 plus amplifiers in for repair in the queue. So um, please uh, feel free. Get a hold of me if you need any help. If you need any repairs, any questions, leave them down below. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.